Good morning, sports fans out there around the world. I'm back again with another video. I'm just here to, um, I just watched a big game. Well, not really a big game, but somewhat semi-important game between Russia and the USA in men's hockey. And I was quite surprised that uh, the Americans beat the Russians. But of course, it ended in a shootout with TJ Oshie scoring the winning goal in the shootout. But uh, I seen some of the game and it, and it was uh, pretty physical. And uh, I must say that uh, they played very well. Of course, they had some some gaps in their defense, Amer the Americans, but uh, they played pretty well. But uh, Russia has a very got to give credit to Russia though. They they're a very fast team because Pavlodatsu scored two goals, and uh, for the Americans' side, the T.J. Oshie won in the shootout. Then the first two goals were by Joe Pavelski and Cam Fowler, the defenseman. And they won. So the U.S. is, they seem very good. But still, I'm putting my bet on Russia or, or Canada to win the gold medal. Speaking of Canada, Canada won yes, last night or yesterday by score of six nothing over Austria. Well, we knew we knew that's gonna that was gonna happen. Jeff Carter got the ball rolling, scoring three goals, then Geslap, Ryan Geslap scored one goal. And then, then another goal was scored by Shea Weber with the slap on the slap shot. So uh, Canada looks like they're winning, like they're gonna win, but uh they're, they're kind of struggling a little bit because Mike Babcock's trying to find some key players to play key matchups for his uh, players. Which uh, which line to put on. Like, there's so many good players on Canada that um, he's, he's having a hard time with that. I mean, you got Jeff Carter, you got Sidney Crosby, a lot of good players. And Chris Kunitz. I mean, I thought he was going to be a big factor with Sidney Crosby in the lineup, but uh, so far he hasn't done very much. Just a lot of uh, players to choose from, and he's and Mike Babcock's having a tough time with that. So I've seen their game against Norway. They, I, I would have thought, I mean, I would have thought it would have been, a, they could blow them out, but they struggled against Norway. But you got to give credit to the Norwegian goaltender. This guy Lars Haugen. He uh, he made a couple of key saves. But they they lost it. They Canada won that game three to one. But it wasn't really a blowout as I expected. Well, it'd be interesting to see what the Canada does against Finland. On I think Sunday or Monday. And the Americans will play Slovenia. Which uh, Slovenia, which upset Slovakia, it's a surprise seeing that they won the first game. Slovenia, since they only have one NHL player on the team, which is Anze Kopitar, it's a surprise to me. So it'd be interesting to see what happens between the U.S. and Slovenia. And speaking of the U.S. on the women's side, I just got word that. For U.S. for Julie Julie Chu injured her hand, and we hopefully she can come back and uh, play against Sweden in their semifinals. But uh, it would be very tough for them to get a gold medal. But lo and behold, I think I'm gonna have to give the women's uh, gold medal to Canada, because I don't know without Julie Chu's uh, leadership. The U.S. women's team is going to uh, lose to Sweden, and they'll probably have to play for a bronze medal. I feel kind of distressed about that, but uh, as again, I'm not 
I'm the one not playing the game. And that's the thing with uh, that's the thing with these uh, sports stories. These fans, I mean, most fans become so obsessed on their team winning, and then when they lose, and when they lose and the players feel bad, then they feel bad, bad about it. I don't know, I guess it's the emotional attachment regarding sports. I mean, people come up so obsessed with their teams and winning that uh, they even postpone their own lives just to see a game and just to see their favorite team win or their favorite player. And when that favorite player gets hurt, they, uh, they get upset and become unhappy. I don't know. Just a lot of uh, just a lot of emotions attached to sports. Or should I say, people become too emotional atta emotionally attached to sports, and that's that's a sad thing because the fans they don't really understand that that they're only playing a game. It's just a game, and yet when they watch their team and their players lose, it kind of gets blown out of proportion in a broad sense. But uh, that's for another uh, that's for another topic, I guess, that I'll talk about in the future. But for now, good day.